Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 24th of 2024 is titled South Pacific Shadow Set. So what do we see here? Well, right behind the photographer would have been the sunrise. So the sky getting light off in the east. But if you look off to the west, you're seeing the exact opposite and you're seeing the shadow setting and that is the shadow of the earth. So this earth blocks out the sunlight at night so we don't see it in the sky. That's when the sun dips below earth's horizon and the sky starts to get dark. Well, as that shadow moves across the sky and then finally starts to set as the sun begins to rise on the other horizon. So you can see the change in coloration here from the darker colors closer to the horizon, the bluer colors to the pinker colors up above. So when the sun rises, the shadow sets. Well, guess what else sets as the sun rises? That would be the moon. Well, the full moon, at least I should say. So the full moon is when the moon is exactly opposite to the sun in the sky. So it is fully illuminated and that fully illuminated face is pointing toward Earth. So we see that full moon here from August the 20th, so just a few days ago. And this is also considered a blue moon and a super moon. So what is a super moon? Well, a super moon occurs when the full moon happens to occur when the moon is closest to Earth. And that is the position we call perigee. Perigee is when, when an object is closest to Earth in its orbit around it. So that could apply to the moon or any other artificial satellite around Earth. And when that happens, it's going to look a little bit larger. Something that's closer does appear slightly larger in the sky. So we'd be able to note it as being slightly larger when we take a look at that. Now, would you actually see the difference looking at the moon? And really, you probably won't. So while it will be slightly larger than the typical full moon, you really wouldn't notice it unless you could see the regular moon side by side with it. And if you can do that, then you can see the difference between the super moon and an ordinary full moon. Now, as I said, this is also sometimes called a blue moon. Now, a blue moon has multiple definitions depending on what you use. But the traditional astronomical definition is that the blue moon is the third full moon in a season that has four full moons. Now, typically, there is about one full moon every month. And that means a season of three months would then have generally three full moons. But it doesn't quite work out that way. Sometimes you can have a full moon at the very beginning of the season, then have two more and then have that one right before the end of the season squeezing four full moons. And the third one is therefore called the blue moon. Now we also sometimes use the terminology blue moon to refer to the second full moon in a month. That's another one that's sometimes used. And you can have that when you have a full moon right at the beginning of a month and right at the end of a month. But here we get to see out looking out in the southwest in Fiji, the moon setting as the sun would have been rising on the horizon behind the photographer here. So that was our picture of the day for August 24th of 2024. It was titled South Pacific Shadow Set. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be fresh tiger stripes. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.